Hi ladies, it's Penny, it's Tuesday, and it's such a doo-doo day, damp, dank and dismal, as I call it. So, my lighting's a bit better in the kitchen, so I've moved my paraphernalia <laughs> down to here. So, in the last video I did, I was saying I'd been messing about with nail varnish. And this is what I've been doing. So, nail varnish flowers, I dare say some of you or most of you might have seen it. Um, these have stuck onto one of my uh, hair grips. And I think it looks pretty nice. And they're pretty stable as well. I did stick these on um, with E6000. Uh, I tried other glues, but um, that's the one that stuck better. Uh, a brooch, which is a bit old-fashioned, uh, mica seat. So not precious stones, which is mica seat, but I think it's more wearable with um, three little added flowers there. Uh, a little vase. That's not a vase, that's just an empty bobbin tin. <laughs> um, and so we can make a little bouquet up if you want for uh, a project or something like that. And I've also done this one, which I'm going to find a long um, cord or something. And uh, I think I'll wear that. I think it looks very pretty. Against the jumper, plain top. Uh, the butterfly as well, which I'll show you what I did with that, and um, and all this is done with nail varnish, except for the heart. That's a little acrylic heart. So I'll get on and show you. This must probably be in two lots, ladies, because um, I don't want to rush it. I can't rush things these days. Too old to rush things. <laughs> and uh, this is my little forest. Of uh, I believe you can see that, yeah, little forest of flowers and leaves. Now, the ones I've watched on YouTube, and um, yeah, I think it's only on YouTube I've seen this, I'm not sure if I've seen it on Pinterest. Uh, some ladies, instead of doing the petals with just nail varnish, they found it easier. If you coated it first in a glue. Now this has got sticky glue first and that does help you cover the petals each petal but I did find it left a bit of a wrinkle with it being glue. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, a bit of a wrinkle I think you can see there. So I tried various, what's this one say? Uh, this is wood glue. I have to try various glues, but all the glues seem to have just a little bit of, what's this one? Uh, and I added some, it says glitter polish, but I don't think I did. But that's, I've, some of them are afterwards as well, I tried to add, um, you know, a coating to protect it. And... Uh, like Cleopatra, but I use sometimes using polymer clay in that, but that left a funny coating as well. I wasn't very happy with. Um, I thought I tried a mud podge on top, but you get that milky look. So it's up to you. You might like that milky look, you might like the wrinkly look, <laughs> but they were. You know what I mean? They're, they're not as clear as if you just leave it with acrylic. So two coats of uh, acrylic, two coats of um, nail varnish and the only success I did have really was if I did um, nail varnish top coat that seemed to be okay so if you want to do that you can and this is just various toppings I've done so I'll show you uh, what's that say brown brown molten um I don't know what she's doing there. 
ash tree acrylic gloss varnish I think that was with I'm not sure which that one was with hold on let me see on its own brown I think that's that one I did um you know the ash tree acrylic gloss you can get but again underneath that is a glue as you can see so you know what I mean you get all these different textures so you have to play around to get to get what you want really so I'll push that one to the side and I'll tell you what um, wires I've been using now I did have one wire but it's like proper jewellery wire and it was very very soft so I didn't like that one I then tried these cheap ones um, they just I think it was just a pound a packet they've just um, coloured and they're not too bad I think most people will be able to use these but they're just a little bit stiff for my fingers because I've got uh, arthritis in my head. so that was hard work I thought with that so it's finding your wire this is the one that I found the best it's just a normal general purpose wire I don't think uh, length 120, 36.5 meters. It doesn't actually tell me, um, yeah, what do you call it? The uh, circumference or whatever it is of it. Just says uh, general purpose wire, but it's great. It was only two pound, and you get quite a lot, which is this one. So, you know, you want something that you can maneuver, but that will keep some of its shape. Okay, and you need nail varnish naturally. Uh, other tools you might need. Oh, I'll put this to the side. Um, you don't really need a ruler, really. You don't really need a knife. Wait a minute. Want some of these tools? Cutters and ones to um, grip and some to turn. Uh, you want your clippers, you want something to wrap the wire around as you can see I've been using this old pencil and you can see that because uh, the paint's coming off it and tweezers help me as well for the finishing the finishing bit okay on some of them I've also used these pearl, pearl drops pearl effect things and what have you and you can also try stickers on top so there's lots of variations and also um, I've been using these little pots up uh, so you get like a whole card of them from the pound shop or from any nail boutique because these really go on, on nails but they're um, ideal just to dress up or enhance these um, some of these petals and that so, I'll just put these back on here so I know where they are. So that's that. So, how did we go about it? And I cut a length of wire. That's where I bought the measuring, just in case you want to know. But I just guess it. That's about 12, uh, about 19 inches, that is. Just for, to be comfortable with the amount you've got. So I get my, I'll bring it a bit further this way, that way, this way. Um, now there's two or three ways to do it. Some of the ladies made individual petals each time and then, you know what I mean, joined them up. But <laughs> I think I'm a bit heavy handed for that. I did try, I'll have another go at that, but uh, this was the easiest. Uh, I left a piece hanging and then I just, so you've got four, five petals is a nice number. So I gathered them together then. I'm trying not to ruin my nails, girl, it is. So I just gather them together and then with that little short bit that you've left at the end, that's the one that's going to um, 
hold it together type of thing. So we go round and round with the pencil until we're happy and <coughs> me being half blind as well I do tend to stab myself a lot so I'm trying to cut off all the ends as neatly as I can because it's them you know when you grab hold of them so because you've got a long tail you can cut a bit off this now uh, or if you didn't leave a long enough one you can cut a fresh piece but there's a little piece there because we take that off the stick pencil whatever it is you're using uh, I tried a few sizes to make petals but the bigger the petal of course a little bit trickier to cover the hole because you've got to spread that um, nail varnish from one end of the petal to the other so we we'll slip that off and we've got our five petals now I want them to stay together so I just uh, if I can see I've got my big lamp on look um, push that together and then I'm trying to do it so you can see and then twist that round that might be better holding that just to gather them in and then and then you'll twist that around the stem as well okay that's not a brilliant job but I'm trying to do it a bit away from me and I can't see it as clearly so that's your five rings okay um, and then what you're going to do is to get we call these a nose one and and separate separate your petals and turn them till you're happy with the shape now I don't know if it's because I do it this way but you never get a perfect you know a circle of petals but I think it's it's better in a way because um, I'm looking for the ones I've done. I can't see the ones I've done now. Uh, where's my thing of the ones I've done? Oh, I don't know. Are they there? Neat. There. Oh, I'm a fool. What have we done with them? Here they are behind you. Is. You've been hiding them, ladies, behind my thing. So, we open all the petals out, as I say and then you get that or something very similar to that or that okay oops don't lose it pen and what i do then is with these type of pliers or any grippers that you've got just squeeze them in a little bit um oh. Just squeeze it a little tiny bit. I mean, I quite like it. Uh, I would say that, wouldn't I? Because I can't do things perfect. So I quite like it. Not perfect. <laughs> Not perfect. Not perfect, are we? It's, it's your own. It's your own flower. Okay. And then with that one again, uh, you could just about squeeze that. You can just. Turn the edge of the petal down or up or anywhere you want really. Okay. Now the next thing I advise, these are very handy as well. You need something to stick these things in. Um I have a polystyrene little ones. Them or these spongy ones. The polystyrene they tend to go in a little bit easier, I think, when it's a single wire. Sometimes it doesn't quite grip the same, but there we go. So, next thing is to choose nail varnish. Now, I've had, seemed to have more success with, uh, not that glitter one, but glittery ones. I don't know, there must be something in it to, uh, you know, so the glitter congeals, and of course that's helping to spread the, 
thing, but you can use any nail varnish, any at all, but it wants to be pretty thick uh, to do. But these I was very lucky, I went to a market last weekend was it, and um, the lady was selling all these a pound each, so I thought that was pretty, pretty good because there's some beautiful colours there. Okay, so I'll show you what I did then. Shall we try on this one? The next thing you need, especially if you're someone like me, is gloves. Oh, I've got gloves, but I think I'm going to finish it here, ladies. And um, I think you'll see me in part two in a minute. So, you got as far as this. You've made your flowers, you're going to pick whatever, I'll go for a nice red one, a glittery one, and um, and you've got your gloves on, so, and you've got your thing ready so you can stick them in. Okay ladies, I will see you in a couple of minutes. Thank you for watching.